first, I, I, me. I'm only talking about my experience. Me. I ain't talking about nobody else's experience, but my experience growing up in Flint, Michigan, uh, where I came up, and I, I literally graduated class of 86. The whole auto industry was dying. The crack epidemic was at an all-time high. People were Flint, Michigan led the nation per capita in murder for almost 12, 13 years straight. I had friends dead in jail. People were dying. It was crazy. And people, and people always want to talk. Anybody who wants to talk about violence has never seen it. I'm trying to tell you, when you talk about violence for real and you Kevin? see it, Thanks, it's Kevin. like it's one of the scariest, most crazy things you've ever seen in your life. And people want to, you know, yeah, yeah, smoke and fight this. And, man, when you see somebody get smoked, when you really understand the ramifications of, like, this kind of thing, man, I had to, I beat up my own father. I beat my father's ass as a grown man because he was a drunk. I went through my whole life him beating up my mother. I, this is my earliest memory was him hitting my mother in the face as hard as he could. That's my earliest memory. And that told me, oh, damn, it's his world, okay? And he ruled through intimidation. He ruled through physical force. And we were scared of him, man. The whole My whole life, I was scared of my father. I peed in the bed. I was 14 years old because I wake up. I didn't know what was going to happen. I was still afraid of my father. I, I would never fight my Come father. Come on, I man. I world champion because I know he would shoot you. He, he would father. kill you. He yeah, would I kill knew, you. I, I knew that for a fact. I knew that as an adult, I was always respectful. He needed money. I would make sure I gave him money. I didn't yep. want to be on his bad side. But see, I did the same thing. I did the same thing. I was a pleaser. I was like, man, you want another beer? Here's another beer. You want this? No, no. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But pull your pants up. Oh, my pants are up, sir. No, 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 no. But this is the thing. I became a grown man. And I said, look, I'm gonna bring my family home. I'm gonna bring my kids home for Christmas. Just I was already, I'd played in the NFL, I had done this thing. I said, listen, I'm gonna bring my kids home for Christmas. I said, please, please, just don't act up. Just please. My kids have never seen it. My kids have never seen nothing crazy. Man, I bring them home. I'm out there hanging out with my wife and my kids. I, I'm actually hanging out with my wife. We about to go out. My kids are left them at home. Man, I get a call from my aunt. Oh, my God, my God. He hit your mama in the face. He knocked her tooth side, sideways. He knocked her tooth loose. I said, what? Are you kidding me? Like, I, I spent my whole life trying to keep my kids out of this. And all of a sudden, I bring you home one time. I just ask you, you promise me you're not going to trip? And he just did that to show me he could do whatever he wanted to do. I brought. I, I said, go get the, take the kids to the aunt's house. I dropped my wife off at the aunt's house. I drove to the house. I had went home. He was still there. I said, man, it's me and you. And I beat his ass for hours. Now, Mike, let me tell you something. What blew me away, though, I thought I would feel some satisfaction from that. I thought. I would get some sort of release, and I got nothing. Man, look, I was sitting there like, this don't work, dog. This don't work. I got revenge. Wait, I got all the revenge I wanted. He was laying there talking about doing him, please, please, because he an old man now. You know what I mean? And I'm going, all right, hey, man, all this beating people ass stuff, it don't work. It, it, I mean, when you look at the results of what happened, I was like, I was left emptier. I was just like him. And I was done. I said, you know what? It's just not the way. It's just not the way to go. I, I, I choose to not, not go that route. So tell me, do you feel you have a temper? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Oh, I, that's how you go in the NFL. You play off yeah. pain. No you doubt. play off pain. I played seven years on the NFL on pain. Straight up. I was angry. I was mad. And Damn. that's how it allowed you to put your head into anything. Me too. I did that while boxing. Then, but when, this is was tricky. Then I finished boxing. That doesn't work in the real world. It doesn't. No, that stuff doesn't work in the real world. Being tough doesn't work in the real world. You gotta be smart. Oh man. It's like the military. Oh, it it's like the work. military. You know, imagine when like you're in a war zone. Yeah. You know, Mike, I know, I know vicariously. Your experience, you know what I mean. I don't. I didn't live it, but I see. But I know the people you. Are, I, I understand you, because I feel your pain. I feel a lot of what you came up in, and I understand how you became the the, the, the best boxer who ever lived. I definitely understand it, but that shit don't work in the real world. No, not a little bit. Wait, wait. First of all, I, I had so many things, man. I would yell. 
And this, this, I never hit my wife, never did anything like that. But man, I yell the hell out of her. <laughs> like I would create such a scene that was like, man, this dude. And now look, my wife has seen me throw people over her head. But then she was the one who told me, Terry, listen, listen, we going to lose everything. We going to lose everything. I had a hairpin trigger. What you say, nigga? What you say? You know what I mean? That's all it took. And all of a sudden, I was snapping. And dude. Listen, can I tell you something to you? I'm glad you didn't reach that level yet. See, I was that guy tripping, hitting off, hitting people because they fucking with me too much for autographs. I fucking knock them out. Yeah. A son of break the fucking jaw. Next thing, but know what? I started signing those checks, and that would broke my spirit. Ooh. Oh, these are getting four million dollars. I don't Ooh. even know these guys. Ooh. Eight million dollars. I don't know Ooh. these. Who are these guys? Ooh. It's because I was stupid. I was, you know, I hit these guys, man. I had also I was um dig. I had um Pepsi Cola commercials and all that stuff, man. Right. Now I became one of those crazy guys that scared of me and stuff, you know. Right. So you can't you can't do that. You got to be cool with that. You got to control your temper because they'll freak out. Those people in Hollywood that's down with you, they'll freak out. Mike.